Now, we will do relation between kinetic energy and linear momentum. We know kinetic energy is equal to half m v square, where we can write the symbol E k for the kinetic energy half m v square. And here we can also write E k is equal to half if we multiply by mass and divide by mass. So, that will be here 2 m into m square v square. We know it linear momentum p is equal to m into v. So, we can write E k is equal to here this is a p square upon 2 m. So, p square is equal to 2 m E k and p is equal to under root of 2 m E k. So, this is the relation between linear momentum and kinetic energy. See here now next uh, topic is the work energy principle or we can say work energy theorem. See here according to this principle or theorem work done by net force in displacing a body is equal to change in kinetic energy of the body. So, when the force is applied on the body its speed increases that means its kinetic energy increases. And if the kinetic or whatever the change in kinetic energy, if you calculate this change in kinetic energy that is equal to the work done by the applied force. So, see here suppose you have taken a body here of mass m, you are applying force f, body is moving with initial speed u to this direction. As you apply force f and there is a small displacement d s, then we can write work done by the force is equal to f dot d s and we can write d w is equal to f d s cos theta. Here we can take theta equal to 0. So, d w is equal to m into a into d s and d w is equal to m d v upon d t into d s. d s upon d t is velocity that is instantaneous velocity. So, d w is equal to m v d v. Now, if you want to increase its speed or the velocity from u to v, so you integrate this. So, when you integrate this, you will be getting d w is equal to m v d v u to v. Now, while integrating here, just you have to take the step here the v which has power 1. So, we can write w is equal to m v raised to power 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 u to v that is here m v square upon 2 u to v that you can write upper limit minus lower limit. So, you have to replace this v by the v and then by u and difference it take the difference. So, you will be getting half m v square minus half m u square. So, see here this work done is equal to this is the final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. So, this change in kinetic energy is equal to the work done by the net force applied. So, this is known as work energy principle.